Hello everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my best of beauty 2016 for you guys. 2016 is gone, it is now officially 2017, but of course I could not end the year, or begin the year, without doing my best of beauty. I did it last year and I really, really loved it. I love watching everybody else's here on YouTube as well. I've been binge watching for the last couple of days. And so I wanted to share with you guys my horde of beauty makeup items. A lot of these items I'm sure you're going to recognize from being here in all my makeup tutorials and everything like that in the past year but honestly these have just been my favorites my go-to's I can't live without these products this is probably going to be a lengthy video so I'm gonna go ahead and just get started all right so first I guess I'll start off with face products so these have been my go-to face products this whole year so first when it comes to face my first Number one favorite this month, without a doubt, has been the Elsie Glow Enhancer. This is a dry face oil. Now, I have been using this so much, and this is always my second step, actually. After moisturizing, I go ahead and I put this down on my face, and then I'll go in and put my primers on top. Now, this is really, really great, of course, as a base for your makeup, but it's really, really great for skincare as well. It has so many wonderful ingredients in it that are beneficial to your skin. I love Elsie Cosmetics. You'll see another one of their products in a minute. I feel like my skin needs this, especially today. I did use it today because I did go in with more of a matte foundation so for me this was a definite must but it's always the first or second after I moisturize product that I put down and I have seen such a huge difference in my skin in my makeup from using this oil so this is the Elsie Cosmetics Glow Enhancer Face Oil. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter has been one of my favorite primers this year. For me I kind of really only balance between two or three primers and this is one that I've used like crazy again it's one that I use more in the early spring fall winter not really in the summertime because I do get really sweaty in the summertime Ew, I'm sorry gross but this is a primer that I have been using a lot especially in all of my tutorials in the past couple months because it gives your skin a really nice glow especially when it is dull it's a little bit dry it is really Oh my god, and not only that, I feel like it just perfects your skin. It gives your skin a really nice base to it, and I just love this primer. Again, if you go back in any of my past tutorials, you've seen that I've used this like crazy, and I love it. I really, really, really love it. Becca products, I have a bunch coming up, but um, I love their products. I think they're a really great company as well. So the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, I think I've called it pretty much every name in the book in my voiceovers. I call it the Backlight Targeting Primer Filter and all these different things, but it is called the Backlight Priming Filter by Becca. Oh, and of course, just so you know, every single product that I talk about, like always, will be in the description bar below and a link to where you can go ahead and get it. Now, these next three foundations have been the newest I think this year I don't one I don't think was new this year I don't actually I know it's not but I was late to the game and getting it um but the other two were brand new foundations this year that I really really loved and they're foundations that I've used a lot this year so I wanted to go ahead and include them but first this one Elsie Micro Soak Foundation <sighs> There's no better foundation in the world, seriously. I know you guys have heard me talk about this so many times, and I continue to talk about it. I've talked about it in my makeup kit video and my makeup artist Q&A video that you guys asked me about my favorite foundation. This is the one. When you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. It's always sold out in the most popular shades. So when they come back in stock, if you're a makeup artist or if you are just a makeup lover and want to try it out for yourself, make sure you definitely get this foundation. It is a matte finish. Not even joking, I was just talking about the Elsie foundation and a ghost like switched my camera off. Like, do you not understand it's my best of beauty? Why are you turning my camera off, ghost? It is a foundation that is 
good for every single skin type if you're oily dry combination it will give you the most beautiful finish it stays in place all day i've told the story a million times that this is the only foundation that i wear when i have makeup appointments because i don't need to worry about touching myself up it's the last thing that's on my mind with this foundation i don't need to worry so this is my favorite foundation my other two another one by becca i have talked only about lc and becca i'm sorry there are more brands don't worry they came out with the aqua luminous perfecting foundation this year oh, oh my god foundation this year oh, oh my god of course this is not my shade but i do have the whole range of the um shades in my makeup kit because becca did send them to me and these are the foundations that i currently have in my makeup kit and i absolutely love them and i love this foundation because it gives a really natural look to your skin. I did do a review on it in the very, very beginning of the year, which I will link for you guys. And that was my number one thing that I really loved about this foundation. And the number one thing that I continue to love about it is the fact that it doesn't look like a cakey foundation. It's very nice, very natural. And it's a reason why I continue to wear it and a reason why I have it in my makeup kit because I want my clients to not feel like they have so much makeup on not look cakey or anything like that so this is my foundation that I always put on them and it looks flawless on everybody so this is the Becca Aqua Luminous perfecting foundation <laughs> and another addition this year was the new urban decay all-nighter foundation now i did read before i bought this that there were a lot of back and forths about it but for me personally i really really love this foundation it's the foundation i'm actually wearing today it is a matte foundation and i'm not a huge matte foundation lover so being that i do love this it says a lot and i think one of the big reasons why i love this foundation as well is every single time i wear it i feel like when i I'm filming or when I take my pictures it looks really amazing in photography and then I think another reason too is the fact that you don't need a lot of this foundation you seriously need one pump and it covers your whole face that's what I did today I feel like it's a really great full coverage foundation there are so many out there and this is definitely one of my favorites again I'm not a huge matte foundation person but I really 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 love this foundation I always apply it of course with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge if I do it with a regular brush I feel like it looks too matte so for me I do need to add a little bit of that moisture to sheer it out a little bit it, um, and just give a little bit again moisture to my skin but this definitely is a keeper so this is the all-nighter urban decay urban decay all-nighter liquid foundation cut for concealer the one concealer that I have loved a lot this year are these new ones by Becca I'm sorry I'm sorry these are their aqua luminous perfecting concealers I love these for me i was always a person that i felt like i needed to put a lot under my eyes for a while i did I, I had dark circles of course i don't know why i just stopped like if you go back in my old videos here on my channel you saw that a good a, a, a good amount of my tutorials i always put a peach or an orange concealer under my eyes because i felt like i had really dark circles and at the time I honestly I feel like I really do have dark circles but for me I don't go through that step anymore just because of the fact that not only do I feel like my dark circles aren't as bad anymore but at the same time I feel like it's just an added step and I don't have time for an added step I want to get my makeup on I want to film I want to do my thing and the thing that I love about these concealers is that they're very nice and lightweight but they cover really really well I have used these a bunch on myself and I use them on my clients and the one thing that I love I love using these a little bit when it comes to mature skin or people that don't like to have a lot of makeup on some people don't even want to put makeup on but for me i just want to add a little bit of coverage so i will actually use a little bit of this concealer to just go ahead and just cover those just those areas on the face where you need to cover it and i've really been loving them for that purpose but for me i love them for under the eyes my two favorite colors are fair and light i kind of mix them together and that just gives me the perfect color under my eyes because light has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it and i do like to brighten 
brighten up under my eyes a little bit and do that bit of a highlight. So I do go in with light under my eyes and then I go in with a little bit of fair to bring a little bit more of a yellow tone to my eyes. And these two are just so, so good together. I love them. I feel like they're really great coverage for under your eyes, but they're very lightweight. So these are the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. So when it comes to applying my face makeup, the number one thing that I have been loving, of course, this year have been the beauty sponges. I love my brushes, don't get me wrong, but for me, when it comes to applying your face makeup, my number one thing are using the beauty sponges. This one is the Beauty Blender. Um, love it, love it, love it. As you can see, it's really tiny. I haven't used it. And this one is my newest beauty sponge to my collection. This one is the Morphe Brushes. Of course, as you can see, it's big, it's fat, it's dirty because I used it today. I just feel like your face just looks so much better when you use a beauty sponge. I don't know what it is. Of course, it's everyone's personal preference, but for me, I just love these beauty sponges. I love the Morphe one because of the fact that it is $6.99. I have about 10 of these in my makeup kit. I use them on my clients, but Morphe came to the rescue and I spent less than half than what I would have on the beauty blenders. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. My favorite way to apply my makeup this year has been, of course, with the beauty sponges. One thing that I was obsessed with this year was cream highlighters. It's especially in the summertime because for me, I really wanted to glow. I really wanted to look dewy and everything like that. I still do it to this day. I actually did it today on my makeup, um, but I have been just loving cream highlighters all year and my two favorites have been these ones by Jouer Cosmetics. These are their highlighters, their cream highlighters, or they're just their highlighters. This is in the shade Tiare, which as you can see is the more golden. And this is in the shade Champagne, which as you can see is more of a champagne-y color. Um, and I put them together. That's the one thing I love about Jouer products is that they are two, of course, different products, but you can go ahead and slide them together to make them into one. Very cool. And it's pretty easy because then I don't have to go around and be like, okay, where's champagne? Where's Tiari? I lost you. I lost you. Bam. Match made in heaven. I've had Tiari in my collection for actually a really long time and I've always really loved using it. But this year, I don't know what it was. I just went crazy with the highlighting and creams and everything like that. So this was one of my favorites with champagne. I would either use one on its own or I would combine them together and it would make just a really beautiful glow to the face. And the thing that is good about them, you don't even have to put a powder on top of them. Of course, if you want to set them as well as give your highlight that really nice bump, you can. But the thing that I love about these is when you do apply them to the skin, they give you a really subtle glow. So if you're a person that's not into that really intense glow like me, you can go ahead and add these onto your skin and they just give you a really soft, simple glow, which I love. It just looks like very natural, like you're just glowing from within. So that's another reason why I really love these two colors. I just feel like it makes your skin look just so healthy and glowy. Loved these two cream highlighters this year in the shade Tiare and Champagne by Jouer Cosmetics. And then the highlighters that I went crazy for this year, honestly, there were so many. I could seriously give you my whole highlighting drawer and that would be it. I mean, Becca Champagne Pop. It is always going to be my favorite. For the rest of my life and for as long as I create these beauty, best of beauty videos, Champagne Pop will just always make an appearance. So there you go. Another one of my favorites is the Saleha Give Me Glow. I've used this so many times here on my channel. Again, I love it with the Jouer um, Tiari underneath. Oh my God. But the two that I bought this year that, oh my Lord, I cannot get enough of are these ones by Artist Couture. These are their Diamond Glow Powders. Now the first one that I love is Illuminati. I don't I'm weird in the sense that I'm not a huge fan of this on its own. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I love it with a cream highlight underneath. For me, I don't know, I'm really weird. I just feel like this one for me because I like that glow. Savannah, I'm filming. This is one of my total obsessions this year. And if there's a word out there that means extremely, extremely, extremely obsessed, that would be the word I would use right now. Coco Bling was one of my favorite highlighters this year. I mean, <sighs> Coco Bling is just, I mean, you don't even need to introduce it or you don't even need to really, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. I'm sure you've seen the swatches of it. You've seen me use it a couple times here on my channel. If you want to glow like no other, this is the highlighter for you. It is just so, 
I mean, there's honestly no, no words. So I really honestly just can't get enough of these powders. I feel like they are so amazing. So now I want to go ahead and buy every single one. There are a couple that I actually have my eye on. I know everyone talks about them and they are just amazing. And last for face, I will add brows in. And for brows, of course, you guys know there pretty much only have been two or three products that I have used this whole year when it comes to brows. Of course, you guys know I like to go in with a brow pencil and then add it in and fill in my brows with a brow powder. So for me this year, the Anastasia Brow Definer has been my holy grail when it comes to brows. It is so easy easy to now fill in my brows. I mean, I love the Brow Wiz and I've been using it a lot, especially last month. I used it like crazy. I feel like it really honestly cuts down the time of doing your brows in half. It's so easy. It just glides right on. You can go ahead and outline your brows or fill them in with this pencil, whatever you do, whatever your preference. It's your brows. Everyone's brows are different. I've gone through three or four this year and I really cannot get enough. Again, Brow Wiz, I love. I went through a Brow Wiz phase the last two months and I love Love, love, love the brow is. But the brow definer, I feel like, cuts down my time in half when it comes to doing my brows. And we all know that brows take a little bit of time. I have been loving the Sigma. This is the Brow Powder Duo in medium. Now, for me, I have always used the Anastasia Brow Powders in soft brown. And when I got this in the mail, I honestly was like, uh, I don't know, because this brown is really, really dark compared to my Anastasia Brown. But my hair gets really dark in the winter time and it lightens up in the summer. So being that it's winter time and it's darker. So for me, this brown is perfect for me right now in the winter time. I think that it makes your brows look really natural. I feel like it doesn't look really, really powdery. It looks really natural, it looks really nice. So I've been really loving this brow powder. So it's been the number one, pretty much only thing I've been using the second half of this whole year. And I've really been loving it. It's the newest addition in the sense of brows to my collection. So this is is the Sigma Brow Powder in Medium. Now moving on to eyes. I feel like eyes, I've pretty much used the same things over and over this year and it's just because they're my favorites. So when it comes to lashes, my number one pair of lashes, I honestly was just gonna keep it with these because you guys know me. Number one lashes, I use them in 95% of my tutorials. Boudoir, wearing them today, Oh my gosh, favorite lashes of life. I'm sorry, favorite lashes of life. If you don't have a pair of House of Lashes Boudoir in your collection, please pause my video, go get a pair, buy them, wear them, take them off, wear them again, take them off, wear them again. You will love these lashes, I promise you. I just, I love them. I feel like they just compliment every single makeup look you do whether you're doing a very simple natural look and you don't want to do winged liner you put them on they look gorgeous if you do winged liner and you put them on they look gorgeous they look very nice very fluttery i i love them i love them love them love them and then my other favorite pair that i've worn a lot especially in the summertime were these ones again by house of lashes and these are in the shade temptress wispy again they're really nice really wispy just like my ardell wispies which have been another one of my favorites this year they're always my go-to i feel like these compared to the ardell wispies these are a lot lighter but they look very very natural i do love these lashes a lot and i've worn them a lot a lot this year. So these are the House of Lashes Temptress Wispy. My three favorite eyeshadows that I have loved this year and I have, oh my gosh, I can't get enough of these. These three are all by ColourPop. These are in the shade Millionaire, which you guys have seen me use a bunch of times here on my channel. This is honestly my go-to eye. Oh, I caught it. This is honestly my go-to eyeshadow. I just add a little bit of a dark brown in the outer corner and that's all I need for an eye look. It's just my go-to eye look on myself, on my clients. It's a really nice bronzy look. Um, another one is this one by Thirsty Girl. I actually bought this one in last year's holiday collection and I never really wore it on camera because of the fact that it was in that collection and it wasn't a permanent color. But this year they came out with another holiday collection with this color in it and I believe if I'm not mistaken, they did make it a single eyeshadow. So if you are interested, again, I'll link it down below. Go ahead and check it out. It's a really beautiful, dark, kind of golden bronzy colors. As you guys can see, I love gold. I love bronzes. It's just me. And then another one that I've worn like crazy the last couple months has been this one by Colourpop, again, in the shade Koosh. 
Koosh. I've worn this pretty much every single day last December for Christmas, for the holidays. It's a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. I absolutely love it. Bought another one for my makeup kit. Another one of my favorites from ColourPop. So these three have just been honestly my go-to colors this whole year. Love, love, love all these colors. And then when it comes to makeup palettes, I've had a couple. Of course, my number one and one that I use pretty much on a daily basis. These are my Makeup Geek shadows. I just transferred them into a bigger palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing a video on all the shadows that I have in here, I will do that for you guys. I think that'd be kind of a cool video but Makeup Geek shadows have just been my favorite. I pretty much will always be one of my favorites. This is just, again, the eyeshadow palette that is just always the one that I grab to first to do my eye makeup. I use Makeup Geek shadows today to do my makeup as well. Um, just love them. Love them, love them, love them. Makeup Geek will always be one of my favorites. Um, and then the three palettes, or actually there's four, that I've really, really loved this one is by Natasha Denona. This is the eyeshadow palette, the number nine. Now, this one is really, really gorgeous. And I bought this one separately because I love pretty much every single shade that is in this palette is a shadow that calls my name like no other. Whenever I have an event, whenever I have a wedding to go to, this is always the palette that I go to because for me, I love looks that are simple yet smoky. So these are the eyeshadows that I always go to when I want to have that really nice lid color. I use this for a green, um, which I really, really love that look. This is aluminum, which is a gorgeous silver, as you can see. This one I use a lot when it comes to lid shades. The gold I use so much, it's not even funny. And this one is just a color like no other. So this palette has been used a lot by me. It honestly, I feel like I say, all, I use all these things and it seriously doesn't look great even touch them, but I swear I love every single one of these colors. I use them pretty much as much as I can. I try to mix it up, of course, a little bit. Of course, the Tasha Denona shadows are known to be a little bit on the pricey side, but honestly, they are worth every single penny. So I love, love, love this palette. Another palette, another palette that I've used a lot this year has been the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. I've always had it in my collection. I think I actually bought it when it first came out. And I just use, I, I've been using it like, cr like crazy. I feel like if you have someone that's starting off in makeup or if you're a makeup lover yourself and you want that palette that is so essential and the palette that is worth every single buck and you don't, I mean, cause makeup palettes are expensive. Let's get real here. And it is like investing in a home sometimes when you're going and checking out, you're like, Oh, like, do I really need that palette for $50? Like, yes, no, yes, no. And then you back out of it. This is a palette that if you are like that, you're like, eh, no, mm. this is a palette that you really need because this palette will last you forever in the sense of it has every type of simple neutral color that you would need to start off any look to create any look to complete a whole full look it has your transition shades and then of course any type of shade that you would need to complete your look i swear this is Oh, such a good palette. Such, such, such a good palette. The shades are so creamy. They're extremely pigmented. So if you are still on the fence about getting this palette, I really, really recommend it. It's been a palette that if I don't go to my Makeup Geek one, then I always go to this palette because it just gives you that shade that you need to start off any look, to complete any look, and it's just, I love it. I love it so much. So this is the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. And then my last two palettes are these ones, both by Anastasia, the Master Palette by Mario, and the Modern Renaissance. Of course, the Modern Renaissance, I think, was in a majority of the um, Best of Beauty videos that I've seen here on YouTube, but it really is the best of the best when it comes to palettes this year. I think everyone went crazy over this palette, including myself. I seriously think I did like five or six tutorials using this palette because not only did I love it, but you guys really requested it. And it's just a palette, again, that you can create any kind of look. And I was actually um, watching Kathleen Light, Best of Beauty, and I totally agreed with her. I didn't even think about it, honestly, when she, but she, when she said that she really doesn't like a palette that doesn't have a black in it. And that's totally me because I am always that smoky girl. You guys know me with my smoky eye looks. But for this palette, it has this gorgeous shade up here, this really dark and 
creamy and oh my gosh i totally agree with her when she says that this is just such a universal palette again you can create really nice simple eye looks with it or you can go really nice and smoky have a little bit of a berry i wore i use this palette to create my thanksgiving look i i honestly i use this so much this year it's not even funny and then of course the master palette by mario oh my lord my lord 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 Again, another palette that is just absolutely so gorgeous. Another palette that people went crazy for. And I I can't get enough of it. I think I did two or three looks again with this palette here on my channel. And the shadows are so creamy, so pigmented. You don't even need to touch them. Like, just tap them and you'll get so much color. I love the way that this palette turned out. It's just another great one from 2016. So the Master Palette by Mario was another one of my favorites. Okay, and last but not least, lip products. So as you guys know, this past month was the holidays, which called for red lips and holiday looks and glitter and everything like that. And these, oh my lord, were used so much, I can't, I, I can't. These are the ColourPop Ultra Metallic Lipsticks. It's a funny story though how I got these. I honestly did not buy these. I did a big ColourPop order and these five came free with my order and I was like okay like I'm just gonna buy these these are probably just gonna sit on my vanity I don't know where I'm gonna put them because I'm probably not gonna use them as much and when I say that is the biggest lie I've ever told in my life that is the truth I cannot get enough of these liquid lipsticks. Today I'm wearing the shade Zebra on top of Anastasia Vamp liquid lipstick and oh my gosh i love them i used mugshot like crazy this past month i also used queen k-w-e-e-n i mean these are so cool and never in a million years did i ever think i would like a metallic lipstick i don't I, i'm just for me i just like putting a lipstick on whether it's nude or red and i'm done i don't really do too much with my lips it just tops your look off if you know what i mean and it just it makes your I don't know I don't know maybe I'm just like speechless right now but I feel like it just it just tops your whole look off like it just gives you that extra you know what I mean I never thought I would get so excited over a metallic lipstick but there you go these are the ColourPop ultra metallic lipsticks My favorite lipstick this whole year has actually been two I've really really loved this one by Stila this is a Stila stay all day liquid lipstick in the shade caramello i bought this because i saw this used on a bride on instagram and i thought it just looked absolutely gorgeous and was the perfect nude shade for any kind of bride and then i kept it for myself i love this shade so much it's the perfect nude color for me i'm always a person that always reaches for my liquid lipsticks i don't know what it is that's just one thing i really want to do for this year is stay more towards like the regular lipsticks because not everybody loves liquid lipsticks but i'm the kind of person that just always reaches towards them because they're right here on my vanity and so i feel like they're really easy to do you just put it on and i feel like a lot of times you don't need to worry about it i love liquid lipsticks i love this color i think this is by far alongside of pure hollywood with anastasia i think this is by far one of my favorite nude lipsticks and it stays on all day so this is the stila shade um liquid lipstick in caramello and then my go-to lip combination this year i've used a lot is this one right here first i go in my charlotte tilbury lip cheat iconic nude lip liner you guys know i've used this so many times this is the best lip liner honestly in my opinion i love 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 it so i go in with that and then for lipstick i go in with this one by bite beauty this is in the shade honeycomb it's a really gorgeous warm nude color i use this and i wear this a lot i feel like this is a color that kind of goes with a lot of looks it's a really nice warm kind of brownie rosy kind of nude lip and these lipsticks are so moisturizing. I really love them. This is always one of my go-to lipsticks um, besides liquid lipsticks. And then I go on top with the Bite Beauty Lip Fruit or Lush Fruit <laughs> Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Honey. It's so gorgeous and it complements the honeycomb a lot. It has a little bit of like gold flecks in it, which I love. And it really just gives your lips that really just gorgeous, moisturized, luscious luscious lip gloss look i really really love this and the thing that i love about bite beauty is their stuff smells so 
so good. So maybe I just wear this a lot just because of the fact that it smells really good. I don't know. Two of my favorite lip glosses that I wear a lot, not really here in my tutorials, but I do wear them a lot day to day. These ones are the um, Sigma Beauty Lip Switches. Now I did a video on these. A lot of people didn't like it, but that's all right. I'm a survivor. I'm strong. Here we go. And my two favorites out of that whole bunch was this one in Transcend and this one is Double Whammy. I feel like in the packaging, they look crazy. On the lips, they look really beautiful. Whether you're doing a really simple lipstick or you're gonna bump it up with a darker base, you can use these in so many different ways. So many people commented and said like, I didn't put them on right, I didn't put enough on, um, all of my swatches look the same. But that was the point of the video. I really wanted to show you guys, you can do a really simple base and they can look really easily worn and you can wear them every single day and they're very easily worn. Or you can bump it up and do a really opaque base and have them look the same. You can go and have a little bit of a darker base like Vam and you can make them really intense. You can mix like 25 colors of them together and you can make it really, really intense. So that was my point with the whole video. Maybe I'm just sitting here ranting, I'm sorry. But these were my two favorite colors and I wear them a lot. I do love wearing them the most in the center of my lips because I feel like it just gives that little bit of an extra bump and I love just adding a little bit of lip gloss right to the center because I feel like it just makes your lips look a little bit fuller, a little bit plumper and I love that look because my lips are like nothing. So I really did love these two. The last couple of months I've worn them a lot and I know you guys like them as well. The people that commented positive on that video, I love you. And my last favorite for the year I was gonna say the month. For the year of 2016 was this product right here. I use this a lot in my videos. I think everyone in the world went crazy for this product. And it is the Jouer Lip Topper, and this is in the shade Skinny Dip. They do have two others, which I have over there in the shade Frostbite and Tan Lines, but Skinny Dip has been by far my favorite this year. It is the perfect lip topper for any kind of look. If you want to add a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of gloss, like I said, if you just want to put it in the center just to have it look a little bit glossy and plumpy and you know what I mean? This was actually a part of their mermaid collection and everyone went insane over it. So they did add it to their permanent collection. So you can go ahead and get this for yourself. I think it's one of my favorite products for this whole year because for me, I'm not a huge lip product person. Like I'm the kind of person where I'll put the lipstick on and then 20 minutes later it's gone. But for me, oh, for me, whenever I would put this on, I would like make sure that I watched how much I would drink or eat because I'm like, okay, well skinny dip is on my lips right now. So we, this would just always be my go-to lip topper or if I just wanted to add a little bit like a, of a shimmer onto the lips just to kind of add it and have it just go into the whole look if you guys know what I mean. This was the product that I used so much this year and I absolutely loved it. So this is the Jouer Cosmetics Lip Topper and Skinny Dip. All right guys, so that is it for my beauty favorites for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorites were this year. If you liked any of my products, if you disliked any of my products or any of the products that you loved that I didn't mention, please let me know because I'm always interested in knowing your favorites. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you did. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will love you forever. And those that have watched until the end, I do love you forever. I really do. Please comment down below that you watched this until the end. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Ow. Ow, my ring is caught. Ow. Ow.